Warm greetings to all my students of grade three. Today we are going to learn an interesting chapter from the science book, and the name of the chapter is Birds and Their Bodies. Birds are the only animals with feathers on their bodies. They have wings instead of arms. Most of them use their wings to fly. They have strong muscles attached to their wings and they use their muscles to flap their wings. Birds are light because their bones are thin and hollow. This hollow bones help them to fly easily. The body of the birds are usually narrow at the front and back and broad in the middle. This shape helps the bird to fly. Aeroplanes also have this shape. There are some special birds with some special features on them. The owl can turn its head around three fourths of a circle, but whereas as humans can turn their heads only half a circle. Hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards. Ostrich, emu and kiwi are birds but they cannot fly. Their wings are heavier. Hence, they are fast runners. Feathers help a bird to fly. They also keep its body warm. Usually the surface of feathers are oily, so the body of the bird does not get wet. There are three kinds of feathers generally found in the bird's body. Down feathers are usually soft and fluffy. They are found just next to the skin and they keep the bird's body warm. Body feathers cover the entire body of the birds and give them a proper shape.
Flight feathers are usually long feathers found in the wings and tails. They are used for flying. Now let us see in detail about the various beaks found in the birds. Birds do not have teeth to bite or chew their food. Their beaks help them to eat. The beak of the bird is nothing but the mouth of the bird. Beaks also help the birds to build nest. Different birds have different kinds of beaks. The beaks are suited to the kind of the food the birds eat. You can tell what a bird eats by just looking at its beak. A hummingbird drinks nectar with its long and thin beak. A parrot easily cracks open nuts and seeds with its strong curved beaks. A sparrow picks up and crushes seeds with its short pointed beak and pigeons and peacocks also have similar kinds of beaks. A heron catches fish with its long pointed beak and it lifts it out of the water. A woodpecker taps the bark of a tree with its sharp pointed beak. It makes a hole in the bark and pulls out the insect to eat. A duck has a broad flat beak. It scoops up muddy water with it. The mud and the water flow out through the holes on the sides. The duck then eats the small plants and insects left behind in the beak. Eagles, vultures and owls eat the flesh of the animals. They have strong, sharp, hooked beaks for tearing flesh. Now, let us see to the next feature found in the birds, the feet and the claws. Birds mainly use their feet to catch food and to protect themselves. They also use them to sit on branches. Some birds also use claws in many other ways. The feet and claws of birds are suited to their uses. Crows, sparrows and blue jays perch on trees. They have three toes in the front and one at the back. They use the front toes like our fingers and use their back toes like our thumbs. Their toes wrap around a branch to get grip and they hold on to it tightly so that they will not fall off even when they sleep. Some birds like parrot and woodpeckers can climb on the trees and hold the fruits. They have two pointed toes towards the front and two pointed toes towards the back. Roosters and hens scratch the ground to find insects and seeds to eat. 
their sharp hard claws help them to scratch the ground cranes and herons have long thin legs with long spread out toes to wade through the water Birds such as ducks and geese have webbed feet. The toes are joined together by a skin. This helps them to swim in water. Eagles and hawks have sharp and curved claws called as talons. They use their talons to grip and to carry small animals. I hope you enjoyed learning this lesson. If you like my presentation, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like, share and comment your views. Thank you.